Example number five. A merchant purchased two lots of shoes. One lot he purchased for $32 per pair, and the second lot he purchased for $40 per pair. There were 50 pairs in the first lot. How many pairs were in the second lot if he sold them all at 60 per pair and made a gain of 2800 on the entire transaction? Okay. So again, we have we need to focus on two information for mixture problem. One is the amount or the volume or the weight if it is in weight. But in this case, uh, the second data is the price compared to the lots of shoes number of pieces of shoes okay so let's get our mixture table so we can formulate our equation from the statement so this is still a mixture problem so first it's the we need to get the data of our first mixture so we have the first lot he purchased it is it is in one lot in $32 per pair and the second is $40 per pair the 50 pair for the first lot so we have 50 here at 32 and how many pairs in the second lot if it is sold at $60 per pair so $60 per pair okay so let's write our equation so what is the instead of amount here this will become pairs 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 how many pairs for the first lot that is 50 pairs at what price uh, 32 dollar per pair 32 dollar per pair and the second lot it is purchased at 40 dollar per pair so we have 40 dollar per pair here and the number, uh, the second slot, if it sold at $60 per pair, he made a gain of $32 per pair. So, it the seconds, the, and the number of the pairs is not defined. So, we can start with that unknown as our X. So, we let X here be the number of pairs at $40. Okay, so if we use our equation, this will become X plus 50 here he sold it uh, the, if he sold it all of them per pair of 60 so dollar here is 60 60 dollar how about this one and made a gain of 2800 on the entire transaction okay so this is the tricks here once we formulate our equation based on the data we gathered this will become uh, 50 times 32, 1,600. How about this one? This will become 40x. And this will become $60 times the quantity x plus 50. We cannot do our equation right away here because we, have, we need to consider that the merchant made a gain of 2800 already on the entire transaction therefore we need to insert the 2800 to balance the equation okay so we need to set up the equation by adding the 2800 to the sum of the first and the second slot so this addition the 2800 equals the gain of the entire transaction Okay, so if we write our equation, so for example, uh, in this case, so if you write the equation like this, plus then 40x equal to 60 times the quantity x plus 50, if you write that, your equation here will give you an erroneous answer because you did not consider the 2800, the the, which is the gain of, your entire, of the entire transaction. In order to correct your equation, you need to insert here your 
$2,800. So finally, your equation here, your corrected equation, considering the $2,800 to the sum of the first and second slot, so $1,600 plus 40x plus, yes, $2,800 equal to 60 times the quantity x plus 50. Now here, you can use your shift solve function. Okay, doing that, we have a answer of 6 alpha x plus 2800 equal to 60 quantity x plus 50 ship so so your x is equal to 70 what is the unit of our unknown that is pair so 70 pairs is your answer here now if you're going to check let's check if our answer is correct so we substitute 70 on our x so this will become 40 times 70 40 times 70 that is 2 8 plus 2 8 plus 1 6 is this portion this other side of the equation is equal to 7200 equal to 60 times the quantity of 70 plus 50 is equal to 70 also so, we can assume that the value of x or our unknown, the number of pairs is 70. Okay, if you get, if you do this equation right away, you will arrive at a wrong answer. It will give you erroneous number because you did not consider the, the made gain the, by adding the 2,800 in the equation, which is the sum of the first and second lots. Okay, I hope you comprehend with our solution. Let's move to our next example. Music